Hi, I'm Patricia from Twin Flames Merge, located in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about Twin Flame Ascension, Ascension, growing pains, symptoms, all that stuff that we go through. It hurts to grow. I want to just remind you, it hurts to grow because... When we're babies, we cry, we're growing. When our teeth come in, it hurts. We need to teeth on something. Little puppies will bite and their little needle-like teeth will like really puncture things. Young men have this. When they start to sprout up, their knees will hurt, their bones will hurt. When we're growing our female areas, sometimes it hurts. We're growing our baby growing areas. Sometimes it hurts. We're growing our emotions. It hurts. Okay? Growth can hurt sometimes. But healing, when it precedes that growth, is something that takes a lot of the sting away. That gives you a plan. Now, this ascension was planned. We didn't just do this randomly. This is not just random energies, haphazard stuff, even some random worldwide illness is playing into this ascension. What? There isn't one? Yeah, let's get over it already because someday you're not going to have the pandemic to kick around. Not everything is COVID and growth hurts and ascension is going to force you to grow. It's that simple, okay? And what do you need to know about this? Well, what you need to know is a couple of things, three main things. You need to know how to breathe to get your other channels open. That means your upper channels because you are multidimensional, okay? You're not just a 2D character here on earth. You're not a cartoon. You're not the joke of the universe. You are a real being with a real presence you are, and I believe this, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. There are parts of you, this happens to me when I am having a session with people. I don't, I hear what's going on, but I see and feel their glow. I feel their past. I feel where the stuck areas are. I feel what was the straw that broke the camel's back, that now the growth hurts so much. And I'm compelled to help. It takes time, just like any growth, because we're in this dense area. We're trying to regrow our body tissues and our bones. And, you know, there's some things that just will take time. Number two that you need to know is this works. What that means is when you make the higher connections, you start literally skimming over those trouble areas of life. I am living proof of this. Okay, I was a punky kid in my neighborhood that would be like, oh gosh, you know, here comes trouble. I had a nickname in grammar school. My nickname was Female Tornado. <laughs> and I didn't think I'd ever live that down. I needed to find my softer side for sure. But... In the process, there was a lot of growth. There was a lot of hurt. There were hurt feelings. There were people I had to apologize to. I had to rebuild. And that is the thing that I help you with, is your not only rebuilding process, but your actual new foundation for a new level. How would you do it again and again and again? How would you reinvent yourself? How would you keep your health and maintain your health? Well, me and my team are ready to help you. I wore this shirt on purpose. We are all made of stars. You're made from the same stuff that is in the planets, that is in the spectrum of the sun, that is in the spectrum of many suns. You have colors. You are from every single color in the universe and then some. Now, some people don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm not talking about throwing down a caro, you know, card, pull a card. This isn't pick a card, okay? Time to get away from that randomness of the karmic level of living because 
the head will do weird stuff with it. If it's favorable, if it's unfavorable, let's get you into the 90% favorable all of the time and maybe you have a few speed bumps along the way and I need to help you with that. That is what I'm here to assist with. I've created an entire modality. Number three, ascension means exactly that. And not only have ancient cultures spoken about it, written about it, sung about it, expected it, we're in it right now. Right now, right on this planet, this is the it place to be. Doesn't look like it on the surface. There's chaos and drama all over the place. It's time to stop the drama and it's time for real actions. We cannot look to one person to be the leader, okay? We cannot look to one you know, newly elected leader in politics to be the leader because we have a complex society and you are a complex, beautiful, multidimensional person. You have a thousand moving parts that need to synchronize and then add that to your other half. This is a thing that a lot of people either are forgetting or would like to forget. Your higher self is not going to let you forget. And it is something that will be coming right home into you. And sometimes you can't make sense of it because to your mind, to the uh, dualistic mind, the duality, the mind we have in duality, like, is it this? Is it this? Is it this? Is it what I ate? Is it that thing? Is it the thing I saw? And so, no, it's primarily whatever is in your past. That's the majority of it. I help you to remove it, okay? You can forgive if you want. You want to forgive and forget. That is really hard to do without my modality, which helps you integrate that brand new, whatever you call it, blueprint, template. I call it the template of new relationship because it is a template for relating down to here. It is a template to help you retain the growth so you don't fall into the cracks again so that your spirit can begin to express the love that you were promised to bring here. We are all made of stars. You have beautiful lives that you don't even remember because it's time to get rid of the mind trash, okay? Let's talk about mental health for a minute, shall we? Okay, it's a crisis. It's a crisis, okay? I get it. It's a crisis. I am not downplaying this. It is a major crisis. It's disruptive. It is chaotic. It's costly. Think about any of the crises you see in the media. What are the costs behind it? I mean, just the monetary value. No wonder people are scared of money. They're scared to help people because there's like this weirdness underlying it. But what if I were to say to you, how could you ascend unless you dumped out your mind trash first and get where you need to be? How would you get a new system if you can't get rid of the old systems that you're not really upholding anymore? That's going to lead to breakdowns. That leads to midlife crises, financial breakdowns, because people who stay in karma will find it to be a financial shocking drain. It's like someone pulled the plug and all of your resources are going down that drain. How do you stop the bleeding? By literally getting involved with the integration of the polarity shift, which I teach through my modality. So if you really want to get where you're going, if you're looking around and waiting for some white knight on a horse, you got to rescue yourself. You got to put yourself first. Uh, for 15 years, I've done this, and I've had people that they sit idly by waiting for someone to knock on their door, ring their bell, who isn't even the person they should focus on. Turn that mirror around and focus on yourself. When you start making the moves, that's how things get propelled and pulled into place. You know, your heart's pushing you. How do we do it? Well, I am having an upcoming winter workshop to work on breath, movement, 
to help you ease it through. And we are running it for several weeks so that you can get good at it because that has to become your brand new foundation. Twin flame breath is very different than yoga breath. It's not yoga breath at all. Now, just to give you a little background about me, I have had breathing issues all my life. It's really hard to breathe in this dimension. On top of the pollens and molds in the air and other things that are breaking down, we just had a major volcano go off. Yeah, there's stuff in the atmosphere. And that is just nature. What about all of the other stuff? Doesn't your real structure want to keep you protected from the detriment of that and keep you thriving, alive, and in love? You better believe it because if you're not. Now, I'm uh, setting this up. The links are below. You can always write me with a question. And uh, coming up, I am going to have other classes. The classes are going to be about your 5D budget and the abundance template relationship to money. It's not just money. It's money, finances, flow, abundance. Like what kind of lifestyle do you want to have? How are you going to put that life together where you're with your other half where neither of you are workaholics, but neither of you are the only one carrying the load? What if you're integrating a family? This is important stuff, people. It's important that you know how to do it properly and that you integrate your light body. It is your twin flame body. It is a larger structure. It's no longer for you just as an individual. You are activated for a reason. You cannot look at everyone else out there because some of those people are not activated. They are still drowning in the density of 3D. Pay attention to who you are. And as Shakespeare said, to thine own self be true. That means know your own divine angelic nature. You are an angelic human. This is hard for some people to accept. I don't care about, you know, cringing about it. You have to hear it. You have to hear it because we're all made of star stuff. Okay? That's not just Carl Sagan saying it. That's me. When you start having your multidimensional experiences of love, okay? My very last workshop, someone had a, I would say, a 30-minute etheric makeout session. And that just like clinches it. That is the stuff that keeps you going. Not the commiserating, not the misery, okay? You need to get a level where you feel like your heart is uplifting you every day. You have to make this your new life. Or else, hey, you can, I, I'm not going to harangue you. You can swing around for another incarnation. Go relive the karma. It might be easier by then because so many of us are moving it. Or you could get to it now. So, yeah, growth hurts, but love doesn't have to hurt. Love heals, love inspires, love is spirited. You feel so different when you're in love. When men are in love, they're totally inspired. They're writing songs and poetry and dancing and singing and getting gifts. When they're not, they're depressed, okay? Now, a lot of people have seen someone and you're seeing a living example of like, hey, those people look like they're in love. And maybe you felt envy. But one thing that this journey has given you is hope. Hope of real love. Let's move it beyond the blind faith and the hope. Okay, you're blind down here. Okay, I want to get you up here where you can see it and feel it. Okay, growth hurts. Love feels fabulously passionate, sensual, and oh so satisfying. Because you need your tank filled your tank has not been filled in centuries. Let's get going with it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.